Okay. Hello, my name is Annie. Hello. Hi, Hi Annie. Annie. Uh, this is called Outwit, Outplay, Outlast, a highly opinionated ranking of Survivor contestants through the years. I would like to preface this by saying this. that my mom and I have Hulu. We've been watching a lot of old school Survivor lately, and by watching a lot, I mean we've watched about a season a day for the last couple of days. So, yeah. Um, this is my top ten. Where's the thing? This is my top ten. Don't at me. Okay, I realize there are probably better Survivor players than the ones listed here. I don't care. Um, first of all, Rizzo, raise your hand if you're a Survivor watcher. Okay. This is for you. Okay, we're going to start. What is the judging criteria? It's important to know what our parameters are. Player strategy. This includes both social game and their ability to play the game with idols and all that stuff. Physical strength. General badassery. And then Annie's choice. Okay. okay. And each category is scored from 1 to 10, giving them a total score of 40. We're going to start with Stephanie. No. Yes. So Stephanie has played three times. Uh, the first time she played, literally her whole tribe got ba- voted out but her, so she had to sleep on the beach by herself in the dark because everybody else was gone. It was really scary. She plays 7th, 2nd, and 19th each time she played. She gets a 4 for player strategy because TBH, not that great. She picked the Red Alliance, the carried her to the end. That was it. She never won. Uh, physical strength, she is one of, like, five siblings, and she's the only girl, and she's the youngest. So, she was super, super badass, super strong, kicked butt in challenges. She gets a 10 for general badassery, because when she played in Heroes vs. Villains, her arm got ripped out of its socket during the first challenge. She wouldn't let medical look at it, because she didn't want to get taken out of the game, and then when they finally did look at it, they popped it back in, she rolled it, and kept playing. So, she gets a 10 for that. Annie's choice, 6. She's, like, pretty cool, but she's, like, not the best, whatever. Stephanie... 28 out of 40. Okay. Next, Parvati Shallow. Now, Parvati gets a bad rap. First time she played, let's be real, she was a hoe. She, <laughs> she played by flirting her way through the camp, but she played really well. And each time she played, her strategy got better and better and better. She won in fans versus favorites, uh, so she gets a 10 for player strategy. Physical strength, she's a boxer, and she kicked butt in challenges. Jungle Badassery is like a 4. She's like meh. Like, you know, she slept her way through the camp. That's how she got there. Like, whatever. Annie's choice, she's a 5. She's middle of the pack. 27 out of 40. Next, we have Steven Fishback. Yes. <laughs> Steven Fishback, player strategy, he gets a 5. He made it to the end in Tokachins, didn't win. Uh, and then he got voted out in Cambodia, ninth place. Uh, after having what he called severe gastrointestinal distress. <laughs> um, physical strength's about a three. He's a noodle. General badassery, he's about a one. Uh, but Annie's choice, he gets a ten. Because, there's a story here, uh, Survivor's official Facebook page posted a Survivor superlatives thing when he was playing, and I tagged Rachel, and I said, Stephen Fishback, most likely to make me grind my teeth down the nub, swallow the dust, and barf it into the shape of a middle finger, because he was really annoying. <laughs> uh, and he saw it, <laughs> and he messaged me, and now we're internet friends, he likes all my posts on Twitter, and we talk about our lives, and so he gets a ten for that one, even though generally he's not really a great player, and he's also he's kind of lame as a person, <laughs> but we're friends, so he gets a ten. 19 out of 40. Not the best, but good old Fishback. Big Tom! (laughs) Yes! We love... (laughs) Big Tom played in Africa and All-Stars, both pretty early on, placed fifth and fourth, respectively. He did okay. Physical strength, meh. Player strategy, meh. Badassery, meh. He didn't really do much. He's just this hit guy that came out and was like, guess I'll live in Africa for 39 days and eat bugs. Uh, He gets a 10, or he gets an 8 for Annie's Choice. Because he put his head in the toilet <laughs> and also a feather in his butt. <laughs> so the challenge there was they had to create a distress signal and they won if their distress signal was the best. And he was like, yeah, I'll put a feather in my butt. Why not? 23 out of 40. Shane Power. Yeah. Uh, playing in Panama. He played <laughs> Your strategy, he gets a zero. He was a three pack a day smoker that went cold turkey when he went on <laughs> So he lost his mind and fought with Everybody. <laughs> uh, physical strength, five. He did okay once the withdrawal stopped. Badassery, it's going to be a zero. Annie's choice, he gets a ten. Um, he, won, <laughs> he won a reward where they got to go into a local village, and he was bumming cigarettes off the locals. Um, he found a rock that was his rock, and he yelled at anybody who tried to sit on it. It was a stinking rock. He found a piece of wood that looked like a blackberry. This was, uh, he lost his mind a little bit while he was out there. And he was convinced he was talking to people that were not on the island. He could be his blackberry. 
uh, shaped <laughs> <laughs> blackberry. In general, just kind of a mess of a human being. Had no business being in the wild, but he did it anyway. So Shane Powers, he gets a 15 out of 40. Oh. But he's up there in my heart. <laughs> yes! Oh. Ozzy was the first guy I ever had a crush on. He played Cook Islands, which was this really cringy season where they separated everyone by race. It was really oh not great. <laughs> um, not it was like 2005. It was a little hairy back then. Um, <laughs> player strategy, he only gets a three. Honestly, he's not a great survival player. The only reason no. he's good is because he's good at all the challenges because he's really hot. <laughs> that assery, he's played the most survivor days out of anyone. He's played four times and made it almost to the end every single time except the last one. He's a cutie. He gets 10 points in my book. He's a surfer. He's just great. He gets a 32 out of 40. Wasn't he the one who had cancer? No. Was no. Okay. Next we have Suri. Yes. Suri is amazing. She's a nurse, so I'm already partial. Uh, she is a self described, I was a couch potato, just wanted to like get up, do something with my life. So she was like, why not go on Survivor? And she kicked ass. So she gets an 8 for player strategy because she plays really well most of the time she played. She's never won, made really strong alliances, was actually a really strong physical competitor despite being an overweight middle-aged woman that was a self-described couch potato. Badass she gets an 8, Annie's choice she gets an 8, total score 31 out of 40. Next we have Boston Rock. <laughs> Arguably the best server ever player to ever play. Player strategy he gets a 9. He's known as a villain because he's a good villain. Physical strength, he gets a 10 because he always wins the challenges. Badassery, uh, he gets a point because he met his wife on Survivor and they have four children. Uh, and he's choice, he gets a 10 because, let's be real, look at him. <laughs> 35 out of 40. Next we have Sandra. Now Sandra gets mixed reviews. She's from Tacoma. She's in the military. No, Sandra. Um, she's the only person who's ever won Survivor two times. <laughs> So she played in Pearl Islands, won, came back in Heroes vs. Villains, won, and then came back in Game Changers, got a little cocky, and they were like, yeah, you gotta get here. Uh, she was also a mentor on the last season, proving that she has a lot of survival knowledge. Player strategy, 10. Physical strength, I don't think she won a single challenge, but she tried her hardest anyway. Uh, badassery, she gets a 10. Uh, there was a really obnoxious guy on there named Russell who wore a fedora. Everyone hated him, and she threw his fedora in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in Pearl Islands, it was all pirate-themed. They dropped them off in this village with a little bit of money, just the clothes on their backs, and they had to barter with the locals in order to get what they needed. Uh, she and another player stole all the shoes from the other tribe and traded them to the local people for goods and supplies, <laughs> and she was the only person that spoke Spanish. And convince a family to give them her, their entire barbecue. They were having a party <laughs> behind a church. And they give them all the chicken, all the cookies, <laughs> everything. Uh, and it's twice, she's a nine. Last but not least. Wait, what's that? Huh? Oh, sorry, her score, okay. 32 out of 40. She's up there. Last but not least, we have me. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> It has been my dream for a long time to be on Survivor. Um, I'm a Girl Scout leader. I am an experienced lifeguard and swim instructor. I'm a swim coach, a photographer, a nurse. I'm really good at using flint and steel. And thanks to Katie this Christmas, I own a machete. <laughs> um, player strategy is going to be a 10. Physical story, I'm going to give myself a 10. Uh, badassery, I'm going to go with a 10. Annie's choice, to get a 10. So, 40 out of 40, I win. Uh, in conclusion, I win. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Is that the immunity 